Hello. This is a villager trading hall. It has a zombie transformation system and can fit 10 villagers. If you want more than 10, just build multiple next to each other. For this farm, you will need 10 beds, about 15 rails and 5 powered rails, 20 redstone, 10 pistons, 11 levers, 3 potions of weakness, 1 cauldron, 64 arrows, a bow, a couple stacks of building blocks, 10 slabs, and a minicut. Other than this you might need some temporary blocks, golden apples to transform villagers and extra rails to transport villagers. First place two redstone, a block behind it and then a lever on it. Now place a piston facing up. Do this ten more times next to each other like I do. Once you have done that, flick all the levers on. Now build a surface from your blocks in front of the pistons and between the levers. When you get to the side piston, place solid blocks next to it. Now place a temporary block and then build a one high wall behind it. Now place a block in behind of every gap without a piston. Place two blocks to create rooms for each villager. Now put a temporary block in front of every piston. Place slabs on top of all the temporary blocks. Now destroy your temporary blocks. Go to the back of the hall. Place a block and a lever. Place a powered rail next to the block. Then four or five normal rails and another powered rail. When you get to the end, place a powered rail. Create a two high wall behind the rails. Temporarily break your level and piston. Now wait till night time to capture a zombie. Place a minecraft in front of the zombie to capture it. Go back and put your lever and block back. Make sure to put your zombie to touch the block with lever. Put a lever above every power drain and turn it on. Don't place a lever above the power drain the zombie is on. Place a block to close the system. To make the zombie kill faster and not despawn, place a dispenser. Put a iron or diamond sword in it. Crouch and place a lever and activate it. Your zombie should be holding a sword. Break the dispenser and put a block back. To be extra safe place an anvil and rename the name tag. Now name your zombie to make sure it never despawns. To put your villagers in make a temporary staircase. Place some rails and powered rails to where your villagers are. Put temporary blocks where I do to make sure the villager doesn't escape. Also make sure to not use villagers with green shirts, baby villagers or villagers you have traded with before. Push a villager into Minicut and activate your rails. Now break the minicut, and place a block above the villager's head. Break temporary blocks. Place a bed behind the villager to and wait for him to link. If he doesn't link make sure you have don't have any beds or workstation within 100 blocks, and you haven't traded with him. Place a workstation in front of him. 
you can break and replace the workstation to change his trade. Once you have the trade you like, trade with him once to lock it forever. Do it again for every single one of your villagers. Make sure to do one villager at a time. Place a bed. Place a workstation. Break and replace to change his trade. Trade with him once to lock the trade in. Do this for all your villagers. Okay, so once all the villagers are in, break the rails and earth. Place a cauldron and fill it with three potions of weakness. Click on this cauldron with a full stack on arrows. You have made an arrow of weakness. If you think your villager's trade is too expensive, click the lever to pull it down. Now go to the side and turn your zombie system on. The zombie will transform the villagers. Make sure you are on hard difficulty for this. Make sure to only have one zombie villager at a time. Sh Shoot the villager lightly with an arrow. And feed him a golden apple. In about 2-5 to five minutes your villager will be cured. He is cured now. As you can see his trades are so cheaper. Even nearby villagers will have cheaper trades. Thanks for watching please subscribe if it helped. And ask any questions in the comments.